Hi guys, in this episode of ADK, I am excited to be checking out a boy group that I haven't reacted to in a long, 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 long while. That being the boy group VAV. I think literally the last time I reacted to VAV was... Was it all the way back in like... 2020? With Made for Two? Was it? Has it been three years? Because I don't remember them coming back after that. Has it been? I think it might have been actually, yeah. Literally. The last time I reacted to VAV was when I started the current st uh, style of thumbnails for my Rate the K reactions that I'm doing. I started it with their last comeback. <laughs> Jesus Christ, where have they been this whole time? But yeah, if you didn't know, I am a huge fan of VAV. They are a really good group with amazing vocalists uh, and amazing rappers. And I first fell in love with them with the song Senorita that they did. And I've been loving pretty much every single combo of theirs ever since. And it's been a while since their last comeback, like I just said, so... I'm very excited to see what this one's going to be like, whether it's going to be good. I'm really hoping that it's going to be good. There's a lot of pressure since it's been such a long time since their last comeback, but hopefully not too much to the point where I'm disappointed if I don't end up loving it. But yeah, I don't know. I'm really, really hoping that I'm going to like it. Um, and at this point, I just think we should get into it and find out whether it's going to be good or not. So without further ado, let's get into VAV's designer in three... Two, one. And how are they able to throw so much money at their music videos? Not bad. It's all gonna depend on the chorus. Definitely not my favorite song of theirs, but I'll take more VAV where I can get it. Damn those apps though. I don't understand how their company is able to throw so much money at them but their sister girl group disbanded with barely two songs released. Like are VAV really that profitable? You know? Take 
Okay, so yeah, not the greatest callback from them, not gonna lie, which is really disappointing because in today's recording session, I was really excited to check out P1 Harmony, TNX and VAV because I feel like all, the, all three of, of these groups have a pretty good track record with me enjoying all of their songs. And yet, out of these three, only P1 Harmony continues to entertain me. Both TNX and VAV fail. Which is a shame. Especially because in the case of VAV, it's been three years since their last comeback. As far as I know, at least... As far as I've seen a comeback from them, they maybe have released something that has just went under the radar for me. But, like, I'm the last song of theirs that I remember... Uh, Definitely checking out and I remember them releasing is Made for Two. And this song just pales in comparison to that one. I don't know if I would say that it's a bad song. For me it's just weirdly low energy and maybe a little bit weirdly offbeat. I don't know, that might just get better after the second listen because my brain is just not expecting the song to flow the way it flows. But yeah, I don't know. It's just not what I thought they should would come back with. I, I I was hoping either something like Made for Two, which was very vocally based, something like uh, Senorita, or Give Me More, or Poison, like something between all of those things. Like they have a pretty good track, track record of doing variety of songs that I enjoy. This is just not it, man. And maybe it's gonna grow on me. Who knows? Right now though, Disappointed, for sure. If you enjoy it though, that's fine. I think most people will be able to enjoy it fine. I'm just a very picky person. I don't have too much time to listen to K-pop songs uh, outside of doing these reactions uh, because I'm busy with the channel and I just have a busy life. Um, so I can only take like the best of the best and listen to the best of the best. So. This one is definitely not the best of the best, but I will be giving it a second uh, chance to impress me, which is probably not going to really do much, but I do it to every song. It would be wrong and unfair to not do it to this one. So without further ado, let's get into VAV's designer once again in 3, 2, 1. a little bit better on second listen. Okay, it's better on second listen. I think I'm gonna end up listening to it, but again, it's not gonna be like my favorite BAB song. Damn it, I actually kind of like it on second listen. Just goes to show how easily opinions change. I'm always shocked at how high budget their music videos are, man. Considering that they are, for all intents and purposes, no.
Okay. Like I said, it's definitely a little better on the second listen. That's why I do second listens. Because you never know how much your brain not being satisfied by being able to correctly predict where a song is going to go affects your enjoyment. It's insane. That's why I do second reactions. Because so many times a song I really wouldn't vibe on the first listen. But then on the second listen I might actually grow to really really love it. For this one it's definitely so much more enjoyable on the second listen. And it's probably because there isn't all these expectations thrown on it. To like perform to the best level possible. After not having new songs from like VAV for like 3 years. Not having that expectations subconsciously thrown onto the song definitely helps to enjoy it more. But still, I do believe it should have been better. Because every single time before that they have come back, uh, that I've reacted to, that I've listened to a new song from them, I've enjoyed it right off the bat, with no caveats. And it's been really, really good. Like, I've never had to, like, go out of my way to listen to it a second time to really enjoy it. This is the first time. So, I still think it's... Worse than it should have been, but at the very least, uh, it ended up being enjoyable enough to the point where I will end up listening to this song outside of the reaction too, and it's not going to be just for the reaction. And in terms of a rating for this one, I think I'm going to go with, I guess, a solid 8.2 out of 10. I feel like that might be a little bit too high. It might be more of a 7.9 out of 10, but... I feel like it's... I'm gonna give it an 8.2. I It feels wrong for me to give them anything less than an 8. I feel like they are too good. And due to their uh, quality of performance and everything, it, it just... It, they're never can, can be worse than an 8 out of 10 for me. So I'm gonna stick with an 8.2 out of 10. But a more accurate rating is like a 7.9, I feel like. But yeah, um... That's it, I guess. Um, I am curious, though. Uh, what do you guys think about this song? Did you enjoy it? Did you not like it uh, just like me? Come Or did you not like it uh, too much just like me? Comment your thoughts down below. And let's have a discussion about this. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout-out to my currently six patrons on Patreon. Omar Bridgman, Deadpool, Corby Dead, Dane Harty, Peyton Jones, and Jason Christmas. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. You have decided to support me, you have continued to support me in such a long time. Hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do like, subscribe. Also, check out the link in the description to my Wattpad or post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Golf account where you can pledge support, help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do any of that, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!